Hi, I'm John, Technical Training Specialist from Autel, and today I'm proud to share with you some of the latest advancements we have in our EV-related diagnostic software on our Alter series of tablets. Okay, so once you go ahead and download the EV software on one of our qualifying tablets, you're going to notice that there's quite a few new buttons that appear on the home screen of your scan tool. So to start, we're going to go ahead and select the New Energy green button, and this is going to be the button that you'd want to select for any hybrid or EV related car. Now, as you can see, we have quite a, quite a robust selection of vehicles that our EV software will cover. We're going to go ahead and select a high voltage battery pack test. And you'll notice that once we connect to the car, it's going to give us a little bit of disclaimers, some high voltage safety related information. It's going to give us a little bit more helpful information about some PPE devices to keep us as technicians safe. So once I went ahead and did all that, it will start communicating with the vehicle. So this particular vehicle has three different rated battery pack capacities. So I'm going to go ahead and select the proper battery pack. At this point, we're going to be communicating with the vehicle. I have a choice that comes up. I have three options. I have one option that allows me to go directly to the OBD2 connector. This is great if the vehicle is there and you're just trying to perform regular diagnostics. We also have two other options. One is going to be called the special plug diagnostics. This is going to relate to giving me the part number of the OEM style plug of, for this particular battery pack that I can quickly unplug from the vehicle and plug directly into the battery pack or I also have a manual jumper selection. Now for any vehicle that maybe is too new to actually have a specific cable for it, never leave you stranded. We give you the options of using the universal pinouts. These come in very handy for a lot of the high voltage component tests, as well as some of the battery pack tests. The benefit to this to us as technicians is we have the ability to test these components without a vehicle around. So if you happen to be using a used component, you have the ability to quickly hook up and test to it. So once I selected one of the connections here, now it's going to go ahead and communicate with the vehicle. I'm going to select the blue button here that says battery pack information, and it's going to pull up a whole host of diagnostic information to help you repair that vehicle. So the first screen that comes up is our module status you can see some overall general information at the top of the screen of different information about the battery pack, the state of charge, the state of health, the total voltage. But then at the bottom, we're gonna see the infrastructure of how many modules this particular battery pack has. Any module that is out of balance in any way is going to show up in red. All the ones that are within balance are gonna show up in green. Within every module, there are several cells. So if I touch on one of the modules, I'll touch on the one in red here, it pulls me up some more information. I can scroll on up and I can see that this particular module, module number one, has a total of eight cells within it. It also tells me the overall temperature of that particular module. This is very helpful because if I decided I needed to replace the module, at the bottom of the screen I have module locations. If I push on that button, it shows me the architectural layout of how that battery pack is laid out. So I can quickly identify where module number one happens to be in the battery pack. So I also have the button at the top of the screen that's called cell status. Cell status allows me to look at the individual cells of all the modules all at once. So I have a couple ways I can view it. If I can, if I hit the four little squares, it allows me to see all the actual voltages. The ones in red and blue represent the highest cell voltage and the lowest cell voltage from the battery pack. And it tries to balance them to be equal. I can also look at it as a bar graph. So if I hit the little bar graph next to it, Again, those same cell numbers are identified. It's just my personal preference how I prefer to look at them. I also can click on the button that says temperature, and now it's going to go ahead and display all the available temperature sensors within that battery pack, as opposed to just an average battery pack temperature that's represented at the top of the screen where it says temperature 155.1 degrees. It's averaging out what this 
actual battery pack is, is reading here. At the top of the screen also, we have the battery pack info button. This gives me all the information that I need about this battery pack. Very helpful for trying to order parts from dealerships for, for components located inside the battery pack. And then the final button at the top of the screen is the other live data button. So here is all the other data that the BMS, the battery management system, is allowing us to see all at once. And just like every other part of your diagnostic tool, if I chose to want to graph one of these signals, I have the ability to go ahead and do that. Okay, so now I'd like to share with you what is the most accurate way to perform a state of health test on a high voltage battery. This will work on any car line, whether or not the manufacturer supports a dynamic test. This will work on any type of plug-in hybrid or an EV vehicle that we have support for. So at this point, what we're doing is we are going to select the car and we're going to plug in a level two charger. We're gonna follow the directions on the screen and it's going to monitor the state of health as we start to charge that battery back up to full capacity. At the very end of that test, we are going to get a whole report that's going to tell us if the battery, we're in a very accurate state of health and it's gonna tell us if the battery has passed successfully the state of health test. The other way that some manufacturers allow us to do is some manufacturers will support a dynamic test that can be done while we're driving the vehicle down the road. And again, it's very user friendly. It will tell us once we communicate with the vehicle, if the manufacturer supports a dynamic, the loaded test, it's gonna tell us how to drive the vehicle. We will just drive the vehicle until it tells us that it has enough information we're gonna drive it under the conditions that it tells us, and then it's going to tell us when it's done performing that test. Now we also have the ability to test high voltage components. On the main menu of the screen, we have a high voltage component test button. You'll see the high voltage components that we have available to test. And again, just like the high voltage battery test, we can do this, these tests on the vehicle or off the vehicle, which opens up the whole used part market for you. So we have a high voltage compressor test. We have a DC to DC converter test. We have an OBC or onboard charger test. We have the 48 volt battery test for the manufacturers that are starting to switch over to 48 volt batteries instead of the 12 volt battery. Also the 48 volt motor test and the PTC test which is the heater element for not only the passenger compartment on a full-fledged EV vehicle, but also can be used in warming up the battery on cold winter days. At this point, we'll start with the high voltage component test of the AC compressor. And now we pull up our list of the available compressors, manufacturers that we can test. Now remember, a lot of these different components can be found on several different makes and models of cars, which is why we go by the compressor manufacturer. So if I were to select one of the compressors here, and now notice it gives me two possible scenarios. Every one of our high voltage component tests will give me these same two possible scenarios. One is going to be if you're using the test while the component is still located on the chassis of the vehicle, still connected to all the electronics and everything else. Scenario number two is going to be if you're bench testing the component. So we would select what our application happens to be here. The benefit to this test, any of the high voltage component tests, is number one, it obviously will test the internal electronics of that particular component. But number two, in essence, we're replacing the switch circuit from the vehicle. So it helps you diagnose these vehicles. For AC compressor, for instance, we have a control head in the center of the dash and we have to push a button to turn the AC compressor on. Our scan tool now becomes that control head when we're trying to activate this AC compressor. And we can test all the circuitry inside the high voltage component of the AC compressor, plus we can test the switch circuit from the car side. So the next component test that we have available to us is the DC to DC converter test. So much like the compressor test that we just saw, 
I'll go ahead and select the type of manufacturer that makes the DC to DC converter for this vehicle. And again, we have our options here. So here we can have the DC to DC converter being tested on the vehicle or off the vehicle. So I'll just follow the directions on the screen. We have them all listed out for us. I'm gonna say, okay. My cable connection diagram, it's going to again, show me a picture of the DC to DC converter. Show me a picture of the plug that I have to perform the back probing of our universal pinout tools. So now we have the ability to test high voltage components. Again, we can test the switch side of the circuitry from the car side and also all the internal electronics of the high voltage component all right here through our EV tablet. The onboard charger test. Now this is the component that's responsible for the communication that occurs between the vehicle. Again, step-by-step -step directions of exactly what's going to happen and what we're going to have to hook up to. We're gonna to start to talk to the actual vehicle's component and then we'll be able to go into testing all the electronics within the onboard charger as well as the switch circuit side of things from the car side. We also have a 48 volt battery test. So here we have two car lines right now that have already started using the 48 volt battery test. As new car lines start using them, we'll add more to that menu here. And we have three scenarios available for the 48 volt battery test. So scenario one, again, is going to be the testing the vehicle's battery, the 48 volt battery in or out of the car. Scenario two, use a matching DC to DC to drive out the 48 volt lithium and also scenario three. So again, depending on the type of test you're trying to accomplish, we have you covered here at Autel with whatever the actual testing scenario happens to be. So once I selected the scenario that applies to my individual needs, I will go ahead and pull up the cable connection screen and it'll communicate with the vehicle and it's going to give us the following screens that are going to allow me to perform a deep level of diagnostics here. Just like the 48 volt battery test, we also go ahead and use a 48 volt motor test. Again, as more car lines start to adopt using a 48 volt motor, we will go ahead and populate that list. We'll select the component that we're dealing with here. And we have our two scenarios, essentially in the vehicle testing and out of the vehicle testing. And we'll pull up our cable connection screen. We'll go ahead and hit the OK button again. It will go ahead and communicate with the vehicle and perform the diagnostic tests. Okay, so the final test in our high voltage component test is called a PTC test. So positive temperature coefficient is what that stands for. And on EV and plug-in hybrid related vehicles, now this is a special component, ceramic component, that's going to go ahead and heat up the coolant so that we can either heat up the battery or heat up the passenger compartment. And we need to be able to test this component. I'm going to select the manufacturer and I have our two popular scenarios. I have the in-vehicle test and I have the out-of-vehicle test. I will simply just follow the directions on the screen for whichever scenario best suits my testing needs. I will pull up the cable connection diagram. Go ahead and connect the cables. And now at this point, we're gonna establish communication with the vehicle. So as you can see, we at Autel have brought the same level of innovation and diagnostic capabilities that you've become accustomed to using in our diagnostic tablets into the world of EV and hybrid repair. Hopefully you found this interesting and if you have any interest in finding out more information, be sure to talk to one of our distributors. Thank you for watching.